so here we have our data math 2 got some information online made by Texas Instruments and it was first produced in November the 11th 1974 for just under $50 49.95 so let's have a look at it and see if we can get it working again Seller says that the battery terminals were gone so let's have a first unboxing and find out what we mean by gone looks like it's got two sets of batteries here use AC adapter charger only two nickel cadmium batteries must be placed where when using this adapter okay for throwaway batteries use two alkaline AA batteries oh so it looks like it had rechargeable batteries here and standard batteries here okay well, let's open it up and have a look I'm hoping that all the battery problem has been contained within the battery compartment oh it actually looks a little bit out of position first observation it seems to be up in the air right this is a very interesting little circuit actually first thing to do before we disturb it too much is to actually I always take a picture with the phone so that I know exactly where everything was connected just in case anything comes off also take a picture of the battery compartment because we have got cable links within here so what we have is a set of uh, points here for rechargeable batteries and then the AA batteries normal throwaway batteries are here um, and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because this is actually the positive from the throwaway batteries and it goes through the switch and it goes up to the board here and that's the, that's the positive um, it also feeds down through the circuit um, for the rechargeable batteries as well the negative for the board is actually this one here which goes to the negative of the recharge batteries but links across to the negative of the uh, disposable batteries here as well and then we have an external charging supply coming back through this resistor to charge the batteries and also feeding in to the board up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder all these now I've taken a photograph so I know where they are and I'm going to apply a couple of little flying wires on here so I can move this unit out of the way and power this board separately uh, from the 3 volt bench supply and then we'll see whether this works oh something happens it's taking 40 to 50 milliamps 0.12 watts and the display has lit um, let's see if the near the keys work 9 works, 8, 7 that's quite good does the 1 work, the 0, yep yeah. 0.3 uh, ok, it's clear clear entry, yep yeah. so 9 times 9 equals 81 mm. minus 3 78 plus 3 81 times 3 ok divided by 125 so the calculator appears to be working just fine so the functions on the calculator all appear to be working um, I'm going to take this board off and see what's underneath it and why this part of the board has um, sunk sort that out looks like there's only two screws holding this top part of the board in place and that just flexes over 
this is held in place by these it's like melted over uh, catches so what I'm going to do uh, that one's popped out so first thing I'll do is try and get that back into place oh ok I'm going to try first, I'm going to try a bit of super glue in this position rather than the old eye to see if that might work better so I'm just going to work in a bit of the super glue in there push that down, make sure nothing comes through on the key Okay, now the glue's had time to go off, kind of rebuild this. Last 27, right, so just check all the keys, make sure everything's working fine. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to put that aside now and we'll see what we can do with this. Let's try and get these connections out, shall we? Let's have a little look. Okay, that's one out. Right, the battery compartment has now been rebuilt and the next job is to re-solder the wires back onto the new, the new battery connections. So we'll start with that. We've got our original picture to compare it with. Last bit of soldering to do in the battery compartment. Right, I'll flip the battery compartment just to make sure it all fits in nicely. So lock position. Okay, that just leaves us the three wires to solder back onto the main board here. So I've got to remove the cables I put in there solder that back in and then we'll be ready to reassemble it and give it a try. Okay so we've re-soldered all of these connections on here. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. Nine times nine equals eighty one minus six equals plus three uh, times one point two. But this has now got a new lease of life. I'm really pleased with this.